The SJ-100 aircraft, which is now entirely equipped with domestically produced systems, has achieved a significant milestone in the certification procedure in Zhukovsky. 97001, the specific aircraft used in these tests, was subjected to a succession of rigorous flight evaluations. The purpose of these tests was to exceed the aircraft's operational limits, which had been previously determined in terms of both speed and Mach number. The primary objectives were to evaluate the aircraft's overall stability and controllability, to confirm the performance of the Integrated Control System, ICS, and to guarantee the reliability of its avionics in extreme conditions. The SJ-100 achieved a speed of 334 knots during these experiments. You're faster, you're faster. And indeed, hurry up. The first is you. Hurry up, hurry right now. Food or steak or steak? Do you want to sleep or not? which is equivalent to approximately 619 kilometers per hour. Furthermore, the aircraft attained a Mach number of 0 0.87. These figures are a significant improvement over the previously established maximal values, surpassing them by 24 knots and 0 0.05 Mach, respectively. The significance of these results is not solely derived from the numerical achievement, but also from the fact that the tests were conducted under the close supervision of experts from the Russian Aviation Register and the Certification Center of the State Research Institute of Civil Aviation, GUS-NIGA. Their presence guaranteed that the testing was conducted in accordance with the most stringent certification protocols and that the data collected would be accepted for official certification purposes. The flight crew evaluated the results of these high-stress evaluations as overwhelmingly positive. Even when operating beyond its original design constraints, the SJ-100 exhibited the requisite stability and controllability characteristics. The new domestic system's robustness and the efficacy of their fundamental algorithms were further validated by the reliable operation of the integrated control system and avionics. This result is of particular significance because it serves as confirmation of the ongoing endeavors to convert the SJ-100 to entirely Russian-made components, which are a critical component of the nation's overarching aviation strategy of technological independence and import substitution. The progress becomes even more apparent when comparing these recent results to those from previous test stages. It was previously determined that the utmost safe operational parameters were 310 knots and a Mach number of 0.82 in previous tests. The SJ-100 has exhibited a tangible increase in performance margins by exceeding these figures in the most recent trials. The positive results were reaffirmed and the systems evaluated remained consistent despite the more demanding conditions. The development and certification team's methodical and systematic approach is underscored by this consistency. It has been observed by Russian aviation media and professional forums that conducting experiments beyond operational limits is not only standard practice, but also a critical step in verifying the safety margins and reliability of new plane systems. The SJ-100's successful demonstration of its capabilities at these extended performance levels is regarded as evidence to the efficacy of the domestic aerospace industry's recent innovations and the strength of Russian engineering.
The official status and significance of these tests are further emphasized by the involvement of representatives from the Russian Aviation Register and Gaznai IGA, as their endorsement is essential for the aircraft's certification and subsequent entry into commercial service. In summary, the SJ-100 has successfully completed a string of rigorous tests at speeds and Mach numbers that exceed its previously established limits, now equipped with Russian-made systems. The aircraft's critical systems, reliable operation, controllability, and stability have all been verified in these challenging conditions. This accomplishment is a significant advancement in the aircraft's certification procedure and opens the door for its future deployment on both domestic and international routes. The results not only instill confidence in the SJ-100's design and systems, but they also represent a broader triumph for Russian civil aviation as it continues to progress toward greater technological self-sufficiency. Now, do you think the SJ-100 flight envelope opening is at the right pace? Let us know in the comments. Please feel free to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.